Oh, hi. Uh, tonight, got something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to give you a small tour of the basement apartment that I'm in for moms. Uh, I'm going to flip the camera around and i got to adjust stuff so it's going to get a little noisy because I can't edit yet. I'm still waiting for stuff to show up. Although Amazon did find the house today, so starting to roll in. Alright, here we go. Sorry about the noise. Okay, this is the stairway that goes up to mom's apartment. Um, or mom's, you know, upstairs in the house. Now here we have the utility uh, place. This is a wood burning furnace <clears throat> that is an auxiliary to the natural gas furnace. We have a natural gas water heater. This is actually pretty nice. It's a well and septic system, so this is the pressure vessel for the, uh, the well. That's the sediment, or the, uh, sorry, the lime filter that I added uh, because the lime scale was building up so badly I had to replace, you know, kitchen sinks and do a whole lot of cleaning. This is the internet to, I think this is internet to phone? Yeah, this is the internet to phone bridge and then there's an internet to cable bridge here uh <clears throat> pay no mind to the mess this is i mean this has been like this for a long time i've added a little bit to it but not that much uh, anyway this is some of the cardboard that i need to break down so that we can use it in here uh, of course you know the wood supply a little bit more outside <clears throat> i love this wall of books this is the encyclopedia americana from 19 54 or 1953 I think and there's all of these annuals that go with it <laughs> up to 1995 and then we have the science annuals and they go even more there's you know some more books over there on fixing stuff and a lot of where I learned how to fix stuff some older books down here uh, various things fire extinguishers this is a um, storage room now I cleaned this out quite a bit already um, because I wanted to get over here so that I could add some some of the uh, internet hoo -ha. Um, so you know I've got that which is powering a switch which I don't have anything connected to yet but very likely will a box of cat 5e and connectors and a little tester because those are always good to have when you're running cables. Um, <clears throat> I'm not good at making the Ethernet and connector cables, but uh, I don't know a lot of people that are. Okay, this is the actual apartment. Ooh, spooky. All right, I'm gonna turn on the hallway light. There's a hallway that goes down here. In the very end room is the kitchen. I'll show that to you in a minute. We have the closet space here, which is, you know, your basic hall closet where you can hide from monsters. Um, in here we have the living room, which uh, this is where a lot of the stuff that was in storage has come out. I have to go through all of this and decide what to do with it at some point. I have to do that with everything in this house and in the storage shed. And by storage shed, I mean auxiliary garage and also the real garage. Tools that I brought up, uh, yes, chainsaw, that has come in very handy. Uh, more things here, yeehaw, rubber gloves come in good for cleaning. Uh, do, 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 do. Over here we have the bathroom. I'm actually kind of pleased with the bathroom. Um, washer dryer. They work quite well. Got the shower. I just got the shower curtain in. I have yet to use this shower. But, you know, got my shampoo ready to go. It's actually a pretty decent shower. I, well, I think it is anyway. It looks like it. Doggy drinking bowl. Uh, the 
you know, medicine cabinet. I've got <laughs> first aid supplies because I needed them. This is the office. This is where I've been shooting most of the stuff so far. A uh, little bit of a mess, but you know, it is what it is. I've got several things going on here. I've got paperwork that I'm sorting through from mom. She had all the stuff in these green bags and envelopes like this, and I'm sorting it into file folders as best I can to try and keep it more organized so that I have the ability to understand it as I go. Yes, that is a TV. Uh, I am currently using it as an extension. Well, I'm not an extension monitor, but I'm using it as a monitor for that laptop. Uh, laptop is a 4K laptop and it's almost impossible to see. So I display the same thing on the screen here and it's gorgeous. Work machine is over here. Eventually this will be a work surface for actual work work. Picture of me and mom. <laughs> um, I have this Echo Show here, which I have a matching Echo Show up in mom's bedroom. And weird thing that happened today. Well, I, I got the Echo Show so that if she wanted to call me at night, she could. And um, it is this morning at 6.30, Alexa popped in with her digitized voice and said, it's time to get Nellie out of bed. And I didn't program it to say that. I didn't give anyone else permission. So I'm not entirely sure what was going on there. <clears throat> but I think somebody was playing. Um, or mom is hallucinating. I'm not entirely sure what. This is my uh, soon-to-be bedroom. Well, I'm soon when the mattress finally arrives at the right location. Got pillows. Uh, sheets, pillowcases, a thin comforter. I have a bed frame. It came today. I have to put this together yet. Uh, I'll probably be doing that in a little bit because I finally have a little bit of time. I won't say a lot, but it's enough that I can do something. This is the kitchen. Um, all the stuff over here. <laughs> uh, sorting trash. One of the things about living here is there is no trash pickup service. So um, I'm trying to sort everything into recyclable plastics and there's a couple of different kinds. Cardboard stays here. Cardboard and paper stays here. We use that to burn in the auxiliary furnace. Some of these are pieces where there's plastic and paper combined. These suck a lot. <clears throat> a little bit of food trash over or not food trash but foodish trash uh you know stuff like that recycling empty bags styrofoam and other foam coolers that i emptied to put in the refrigerator uh the basic stuff here just got the slow cooker because i'm going to try and do some uh, do some stuff with that um, i tried cooking for mom tonight and bombed horribly because i was you know being all spiffy and made some uh, some cool cool stuff with no salt and uh, <laughs> it was like I really don't like this so you know stuff in the cupboards you got snacky stuff here um, <clears throat> uh, some other stuff here you know I've got a little bit of soup and some uh, Splenda over here hot sauce as if you didn't figure I'd have a hot sauce shelf. All right, teeny tiny microwave works, does what I need it to. Not super concerned. So, uh, spices. I got those today. I think I need to make a spice rack. I also have uh, several, you know, sharp utensils along with the knife block. Uh, this was cute. There's a little, uh, little tiny cast iron pan that is that came with this stuff. It's a cookie mix designed for one cookie that you cook in the skillet. It was five bucks. 
and this little tiny skillet. I mean, that's just so cute. I, I can't, I, it's, I, I, I just had to, because, you know, little cast iron skillet. This is a stone skillet. Uh, I haven't ever tried one of these yet. Uh, I did try this one. This is a really unique one. It's a copper infused ceramic, and this thing is nonstick. Wow. It's a lot of fun. Uh, back in here, let's see, you can tell this is this is the normal uh, thing where I set up for shooting. I got light over here, light up there. I have my little Halloween decoration-y things over here that I'm, I need to work on a little bit more. I just, I want to have something. A little bat. That was a target. Um, so yeah. Um, that's pretty much the space. Oh, um, Wi-Fi range extender. When I was down here the first time, the laptop was not getting any Wi-Fi at all. So I decided to get a range extender. I'm going to flip the camera around here again. So, noise. Look, right up my nose. All right. Again, sorry about the noise. I, I, I can't edit yet. I have an edit computer that is coming. I was going to buy a new one anyway, or build a new one. And uh, when life changed all of a sudden, it's, you know, like, okay, I guess I'm doing this now. So, uh, anyway, <coughs> this is my space, kind of. Uh, right now, I'm still sleeping upstairs in the guest bedroom. Uh, I'm sure mom would love me to stay sleeping there, but I want to keep that as a guest bedroom so that mom can have visitors and when someone comes over to watch her so that I can take a couple days and go back home, uh, they can have that room and my stuff won't be in there and I will have a space. Uh, it's a lot of work. I was up until 2.30 this morning, and then the Alexa thing woke me up at 6.30. So, four hours of sleep, well, almost four hours of sleep, and then uh, I've been going ever since. I tried to take a nap at about five, and the phone kept ringing. <laughs> you know, some people think, hey, how's your mom doing? And then some are, were some other, I got some junk phone calls and things like that and it's like why so evidently I don't get to sleep anymore uh, I have a lot of work to do I haven't had a lot of time down here to be able to put the stuff together I've got a I've got so much I've got to organize and right now all of my time is being spent caring for mom I mean I've been going to the uh, going and running errands so pretty much every day I take there's a couple of hours in the day where I am out running errands getting things she needs you know prescriptions um, devices I got a phone for her so that she can uh, it's like a, a wireless base phone that has caller ID so that she can see who's calling um, but not have to get up to answer the phone it is uh, I don't know what it is uh, causing shadow right in my face. Yeah. Um, I know this is all very strange and weird because it is for me. <sighs> I feel very alone here. I miss my dogs so much. I do get to play with dogs once in a while. I mean, the uh, people across the street have a couple of dogs that they say, yeah, come over anytime. They, they love to play. They would love to have the company. Uh, and then uh, Kevin Cease at the funeral home <laughs> has the therapy dog, Molly. It's his dog. Uh, she's a little golden retriever, and she is sweet. Oh, so sweet. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to bring her some treats. I don't know if it's going to be this. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow. I have to fill out a bunch of paperwork for the funeral home and all that fun stuff. As it goes, I will settle in more. I will get 
more this will become more in my space uh, hopefully the bed will be coming by this weekend uh, or the mattress I ordered it along with a mattress topper and they delivered it not here so I called them up and you know got one that's coming here and it's supposed to be here Friday but we'll see how that goes so I have to put the frame together uh, I have to pay some bills I have to scan receipts and organize the itemized lists into categories <laughs> this executor thing is a lot of work um, I just I just have so much to do and I'm trying to get it done but yeah, I guess that's the way it goes all right I am exhausted I'm probably going to be exhausted for a while but it's my life now um, oh I did get someone I talked to neighbor Dave today I got his phone number and called him and asked him if he knew anyone that would be willing to do the snow removal which you know I normally do the snow removal he does the the lawn care and he said that he would be happy to take it on considering the circumstances it's just he's really happy to do it or happy to I mean it's snow blowing and nobody really enjoys that maybe you know, one or two uh, but he's he's gonna use my snowblower and uh, take care of the snow so that one's out of the way uh, there's some other things that I have to do I'm going to have to go back home and get some things done but I'm hoping I'm hoping it can be next weekend that I can have a couple days where I can do the things I need to do um, I'm forgetting I mean there's so much so much to remember that is I, I have to write everything down and if I, if I don't write it down it doesn't get done sometimes if I write it down I, I don't get a chance to do it It'll get better, I hope, or it'll get worse, or it'll get better and worse at the same time, depending on context. I don't know, guys, it's a lot. I'm trying to keep my sanity here, and it's starting to leak out a little bit. So, all right, anyway, till next time, see you.